Good morning, uh, Miles. This is a book called Ralph's Secret Weapon. It's another book by um, Stephen Kellogg. He wrote both the story and he drew the pictures. He has such amazing art, like I said before, with the watercolor and all the fine little ink lines. Very, very cool. So I see a dragon and I see music notes. This, we use words and then we have a, a symbol for the music. Ralph's secret weapon. Oh, it's a train. It looks like morning. And there's this dragon. Kind of looks like a serpent. Hmm. Ralph's secret weapon. Story and pictures by Stephen Kellogg. Beautiful, beautiful art. Ooh, the train goes through the tunnel. For Kevin with love. After successfully completed the third grade, Ralph was sent to vacation with his Aunt Georgina. She greeted him with a banana spinach cream cake. <laughs> banana spinach cream cake. And the news that she would spend the summer, he would spend the summer learning to play the bassoon. This cake is from a recipe that I created myself, said Aunt Georgina proudly. I believe in keeping busy, she added, and I hope that you will study the bassoon with the same energy that I put into all of my projects. I'll try, said Ralph. Aunt Georgina's house was like a castle. Ralph wanted to explore it and to play with her great Danes, but she had already planned his afternoon. It's important for you to begin practicing immediately, exclaimed Aunt Georgina. Your teacher, the famous maestro Prepostero, is coming tonight for your first lesson. Aunt Georgina had left the Aunt Georgina left for the afternoon and Ralph, feeling the need for a snack, went to find the kitchen. As he entered, he saw a mouse nibbling the cake. To his surprise, it instantly became very sick. So this is that spinach cake. It made the mouse sick. I better not eat this thing, Ralph decided, and he hid it in the back of his closet. During Ralph's first bassoon lesson, the sour notes he produced brought worms dancing out of apples. He's help hopeless. I see no talent whatsoever, cried the maestro. Nonsense, declared Aunt Georgina. He shows great promise as a snake charmer. <laughs> there is an international snake charming competition opening at the Coliseum tonight, and Ralph and I will be there. She dismissed the maestro and called for her car. There's the worms coming out of the apples. <laughs> they arrived just as the snakes were slithering into the stage. They arrived just as the snakes were slithering onto the stage and the snake charmers were tuning their instruments. What an exciting event, declared Aunt Georgina. Ralph wasn't sure he wanted to sign up. Nonsense, declared his aunt. Many of the contestants ran into difficulty, but when Ralph played, all the snakes danced to his music. Ralph's success gave Aunt Georgina another idea. Discovering what a sea serpent, discovering that a sea serpent was causing problems for the Navy, she ran to the phone. She promised the Admiral that her talented nephew would be able to charm the serpent. Huh, he got a prize. And there's the captain, and he's wanting to get the serpent that's giving him troubles. <laughs> and there's darts. He keeps missing way out to here. That's funny. The Admiral came at once to meet Ralph and show him slides of the monster in action.
Ralph was worried, he decided that he needed a secret weapon ready in case of trouble. See, so there's all the slides that they're showing. All these different picture, pictures are where the monster got some people or scared people or whatever. Much later, aboard the Admiral's gunboat, Ralph nervously began to play. There's the big guns, music notes, lots of light. Ooh. Attracted by the music, the monster rose to the surface and snatched his bassoon. Oh dear, how will he, re how will he play it now? When the music stopped, the sea serpent became angry with Ralph. The crew was frantic. The Admiral seemed confused. Do something, save my nephew, shrieked Aunt Georgina. If we fire, we'll blast Ralph to bits. Well, the Admiral, what shall we do? What a big ton. It's a good thing it's a tall tail. Aunt Georgina bounded across the deck and flung the bag into the monster's throat. It sank back, making strange burbling sounds. His tongue sticking out. His eyes are like, Ugh. what was in the bag, remember? Suddenly, a thunderous hiccup blasted Ralph and the other victims to freedom. What, what was in the bag, cried Aunt Georgina. Do you remember? What did he bring? Oh, he looks like he's sick. Ugh. And all the people he ate before. Your cake replied Ralph. And when they finally returned home, Aunt Georgina was exhausted. Ralph was tired too. He announced that he was giving up on the bassoon forever. Aunt Georgina did not object. For the rest of the summer, Aunt Georgina kept busy with her project projects while Ralph went swimming, played with the Great Danes, reread his favorite books, and rested up for fourth grade. I hope you enjoyed that book. This book. Look at the art. Oh, you know, when you come to visit me, Miles, you have to look at this book closer because this book has so many things in the picture. So many little lines, so many pictures. Look at all the dogs around here. Bye-bye.